Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss about calculation of mode. Values of mode can be calculated in three series. First is individual series, second is discrete series, and third is continuous series. In this video, we will discuss the different methods to calculate mode. First, we will discuss individual series. Calculation of mode in individual series. There is no frequency in individual series. Only values of the variables are given. First of all, data are arranged in ascending or descending order. There are two methods to find out mode in an individual series. A. Inspection or observation. B. By converting individual series into discrete frequency series. This two method we will discuss in our further slides. First we will discuss inspection or observation method. In this method data are arranged in ascending or descending order firstly. And then through observation or inspection of the series we notice the occurrence of items in the series. The value that occurs most frequently in the series is known as mode. Let us understand this with the help of a following illustration. From the height of 10 students, we have to calculate the value of mode by observation or inspection method. Height in inches is given in the question that is 51, 50, 67 and so on. Next, we come to solution. We have to arrange the series in the ascending order. We will get 50, 51, 60, 66, then 3 times 67, 70, 74 and 79. As you can see in the slide that by observation, height 67 inches occurs the most. Hence, mode is 67 inches. This is how we will calculate mode by inspection or observation method. Next, we come to by converting individual series into discrete frequency series. This method is useful when the number of items is very large as inspection method will be difficult to use. In such cases, individual series are first converted into discrete frequency series. The value that has the highest frequency in the series is identified as mode. Let us understand this with the help of following illustration. We have to find out mode from the following data by converting it into the discrete series. Data is provided to us that is 70, 30, 32 and so on. To calculate mode, we have to convert the individual series into discrete series. For that, first we will make a table of two columns. In the first column, we will write items. In that we will write the items in ascending order. That we will start with 30, 32, 48, 49, 50, 56, 64 and 70. In the second column, we will write frequency. Means how many times the item has occurred in the question that has given to us. 30 has came only one time. 32 came one time. This is how we will write the frequency in the second column. 50 has occurred three times. So, item 50 occurs for the maximum number of times. So, mode is equals to 50. This is how we will calculate mode by converting individual series into discrete frequency series. Next, we come to calculation of mode in discrete series. In discrete series, there are values of variables x and corresponding frequency f are given x being the definite value of variable. Second, frequency distribution should be arranged in ascending or descending order. Third, there are two methods to find out mode in a discrete series. First is inspection or observation method and second is grouping method. These two methods we will discuss in the coming slides. 
inspection or observation method when series are regular mode can be calculated just by inspecting or observing the series the value that has the highest frequency in the series is identified as mode however this method can be used only when there is a single maximum frequency let us understand this with the help of a following illustration we have to find out the mode of the following series income in rupees is given and number of persons are given in the question so for the solution we will just see the series you can see that 1200 occurs most frequently as number of persons 70 in that in 1000 there's only 20 person 1100 only 14 person rupees 1200 70 person 1300 40 person 1400 6 person and 1500 is 3 person so as by observing only you can see that income of rupees 1200 the person number of person who are getting is 70 so by inspection we find that 1200 occurs most frequently and hence model income is equals to rupees 1200 this is how we will calculate mode with the help of inspection or observation methods. Next, we come to grouping method. This method is used when more than one value commands the highest frequency in the series. In such cases, the items concentrate around more than one value. In other words, there is no regularity in the series. In case of irregular frequency distribution, mode is not always the value which occurs most frequently. In such cases, grouping method is used to find out mode. According to this method, the following two tables are prepared. First is grouping table and second is analysis table. These two tables we will discuss in our coming slides. Grouping table. It involves use of seven columns, one column for values of x and six columns for frequency. Six column of frequency in which frequencies are grouped as explained below. Column 1. It contains frequencies given against values of x as given in the question. In other words, it is frequency given in the question. Second column. It contains group of frequencies in twos starting from first frequency. In other words, it is a group of first plus second frequency. Third column, it contains group of frequencies in twos starting from the second frequency, leave first frequency. In other, in other words, it is a group of second plus third frequency. Fourth column, it contains group of frequency in threes starting from the first frequency. In other words, it is a group of first plus second plus third frequency. Fifth column, it contains group of frequencies in threes starting from the second frequency. Leave first frequency. In other words, it is a group of second plus third plus fourth frequency. Column 6, it contains group of frequencies in threes starting from the third frequency. Leave first and second frequency. In other words, it is a group of third plus fourth plus fifth frequency. Highest total in each column is marked because this total is the base to make entries in the analysis table. This total refers to probable values of mode according to each column. This is how a grouping table is made. Next we come to analysis table. After preparing the grouping table, an analysis table is prepared. Analysis table represents those values of variable or item x corresponding to which there are highest frequencies in each column. Column numbers are written on left hand side 
and various probable values of mode are written on right hand side. The highest total of frequencies marked in each column is now entered in the analysis table against the concerned value of x. We use tick marks in the relevant box to show this entry. At the end, we find total number of tick marks for each value of x. Model value is the value which occurs most frequently or maximum number of tick marks will help us to identify the value of variable x as mode. This is how analysis table is made. Let us understand grouping method with the help of a following illustration. We have to calculate the value of mode with the help of the data by grouping method. Wages and number of persons are provided to us in the question. Let us start with the solution. First, we will make grouping table. In this, we will make seven columns. First column will be of wages, that is values of x. And other six columns will be for frequencies. In the first column, we will write wages, that is already given in the question. And with the sixth column, we will start with first column F, which is frequency. We will write down the, all the frequency which is given in the question, that is 2, 4, 8, 10, 5 and 6. By observation, you can see that 10 is the highest frequency in column 1. Now we come to column 2. In column 2, we will add up the first and second frequency. So we will add up 2 and 4, we will get 6. We will add up 8 and 10, we will get 18. We will add up 5 and 6, we will get 11. Now we come to third column. In third column, we will add up second and third frequencies. So in second number 4 and in third number is 8. We will leave 2 now. That is the first frequency. So we will add up 4 and 8. We will get 12. We will add up 10 and 5. We will get 15. We will leave 6. Okay. Next we come to 4th column. In 4th column, it is a group of 3's. So we will add up 1st, 2nd and 3rd frequency. 2 plus 4 plus 8 we will get 14 again we will add 10 plus 5 plus 6 we will get 21 now come to fifth column in fifth column we will leave first frequency and we will add up 2 plus 3 plus 4 frequencies so on second number 4 third number 8 and fourth number is 10 so we will add a 4 plus 8 plus 10, we will get 22. And we will leave 5 and 6. And in the last column, we will add up 3rd, 4th and 5th frequency. We will leave 1st and 2nd frequencies. So we will add up 8 plus 10 plus 5, we will get 23. And we will leave 6th frequency also. This is how we will make the grouping table. After making grouping table, now we will make analysis table. For this, we have to make a table of 7 column. And in that, we will write column numbers on left hand side, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And various probable values of mode, we will write on right hand side, that is 700, 800, 900, 1000, 11 and 1200. Now we will mark the highest total of frequencies of each column which we have made in grouping table against the concerned value of x that is 700, 800, 900 and so on. So as you can see in the grouping table, in the first column 10 is the highest frequency and corresponding frequency in x is 1000. So we will make 
a tick mark in the column of thousand. Next, we come to column number two. In column number two, we have add up eight plus ten. We got eighteen. Eight is a frequency of nine hundred, so we put a tick mark against nine hundred. And ten is a frequency of thousand, so we have put a tick mark against thousand. Next, we come to third column. In third column, we have added up ten plus five equals to fifteen. It's the highest frequency in third column. So ten is the frequency against thousand. So we have put a tick mark against thousand, and five is a frequency of eleven hundred. So we have put a tick mark against eleven hundred. Next, we come to fourth column. In fourth column, we have added up three values, and the highest frequency is twenty one, which we got after adding ten plus five plus six. So ten is the frequency of thousand. Five is the frequency of eleven hundred, and six is the frequency of twelve hundred. So, in fourth column, we will add a tick marks against thousand, eleven hundred, and twelve hundred. Next, we come to fifth column. In fifth column, we add up four plus eight plus ten. We got twenty-two, which is the highest frequency. So, four is the frequency of eight hundred. So, we'll put a tick mark against eight hundred. Eight is a frequency of nine hundred, so we put a tick mark against nine hundred, and ten is a frequency of thousand, so we'll put a tick mark against thousand. And in the last column, we have added up eight plus ten plus five, we got twenty-three. So again, we will put a tick mark against nine hundred, thousand, and eleven hundred, as these are the frequencies of these wages. So as you can see in the table, we have put a tick marks against the highest total number of frequencies. Now what we will do? We will add up these tick marks. So you can see that in seven hundred there is no tick marks, so there's the box is left empty. In the eight hundred column, you can see that there is one tick mark, so we have put one. In nine hundred there are three, we have put three. In thousand, there are six tick marks, so we have put six. In eleven hundred, there are three tick marks, we have put three. And in twelve hundred column, there is one tick mark, so we have put one. So as you can see from the analysis table, that thousand occurred the maximum time. So the value thousand occurs for the maximum number of times. Therefore, the model wages are rupees thousand. This is how we will make grouping table and analysis table when we are calculating mode according to discrete series. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.